Thank you, Lord, for the gift of each one of us. And thank you, Father, for the gift of life to each one of us. Thank you, Lord, for many blessings that we cannot count. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, that even when there has been a lot of pain and suffering, you have spared us. We give you thanks. We thank you, God, our Father, for the gift of the Word of God. And we ask you that, God, as you speak to us through me, that, God, it shall be clear. Heavenly Father, you shall illumine our thoughts, that, God, we can get and understand what you're saying, even as I endeavor to speak it. I give you thanks, and I surrender totally to you, for this is my prayer, in the name of God, who is the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. I am told I, sh I mix English and Kikuyu, and I will do that for the sake of all of us, and a bit of Kikamba. Nikuseyomuna. <laughs> Amen. For the sake of those who are meeting me for the first time, my name is Alois Musioka. I love Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I serve in this diocese as one of the clergy men and women. I have been given uh, a chance to serve in uh, the Mbegwa parish as the vicar and also by the grace of God, the Archdeacon of the Mbegwa Archdeaconry. I love God so much. Since my youth, the Lord called me when I was quite young. And even in the ministry, He called me back in the year 1984. I've been serving God full time. I began serving at all since Limuru as an evangelist, where I have come. I came back to serve as an archdeacon many years later. And here I am, by the grace of God, I am so grateful. I love God. He loves me. I have walked with this God. I desire to walk with Him even the more and I desire to grow deeper and deeper in His Word. And I want to thank Him because finally I shall rest with Him in glory because that is my desire and my goal. I want to thank Mchungaji, uh, the vicar of the parish, for allowing me to come and stand here because this is his pulpit. And when he was requested by the Mothers' Union to invite me, he invited me, he called me to tell me that the Mothers would like me to come and be the speaker for this day, the Mother's Union Day. And so, Mchungaji, I'm so grateful that you have allowed me to stand here. I also would like to thank the Committee of the Mother's Union for proposing my name, because I am sure they discussed uh, many speakers, and finally they settled on my name, that I come and be the speaker. So, Teresia Waiduke, the chair lady, and your committee, I want to appreciate God so much for you, even for choosing on me to come and be the speaker today. I have come with greetings from my husband because we are the, our children are not in the nest, so we are the two of us. And uh, he was taking a class because he's a he's a Hebrew student with the Hebrew University of Israel, and he had a class. He also tutors online with Hebrew University of Israel, so he was that engaged. But he gave me greetings. He prayed for me and he blessed me as I was coming. And so I have his blessings as I'm standing here. And that's what give, give, gives me motivation and strength just to know that my husband stands with me and the family, our children also stand with me a lot. They sent texts to our children today to wish us uh, well because today is our 29th uh, wedding anniversary. We wedded on the 8th. <laughs> we wedded on 8th of August, 1992 is when we, we, we wedded at Karuri Church and so our, our children were the first one to send us you know, best wishes and congratulations. So I am here celebrating the mothers and also celebrating the day that I became, I became a wife and later a mother. So I'm so grateful that there's that coincidence, which is a very good coincidence. I'm so grateful. I thank God where I serve is uh, St. Stephen's Dembegua and I have a little history for the Mbegwa church where I'm serving, which I would like in a minute to share with you. This is the church where I was baptized as an infant and I, I, I cherish that altar where I was baptized as an infant. Davati Deirio, Kanida, Wade Begwa, Oshedra, Tugato, Mode, Nadara Hirona, Tauro, Dewa, Dekiro Muni, Nini, my mother and my father, and our good parents, Aito, Na Makedeha Kigogo, Naini. Givati Dioni, the late. Uh, uh, dead and, uh, Kenon Dedan Kamau and he prayed for me for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. 
And I believe without any speck of doubt. Atelier da hoi roki wa gonendi ya ve begua. De tauro ine. Na gehoi ro hoi ro homo veru. Da hiro ro homo veru. Na gedi ge kula ga devi noaro homo veru. Na nia viaga ge konfama wo horosio. Even in my childhood as I was growing up and my youth and so forth, there was a confirmation that I was full of the Holy Ghost and I was anointed of God. Nanie da hiro ro homo veru de ki gogo na ine gea ve begua in the 60s. Give it to you, Nele, 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 uh, can you dead and come out? Nele, you are very, very much indebted to that altar. It is a joke at the guy, a car joke, yeah. And I'm serving at the same altar where I was baptized as an infant, serving the same altar as an archdeacon. I mean, to me, it's so amazing how God works that when dead and come out, uh, late canon was holding me and baptizing me and praying for me. And the Holy Ghost coming upon me, he did not know that on his hands was an archdeacon. Amen. That's how God works. It's for me it's so amazing. And I'm I'm feeling so indebted to that altar. And I have dedicated the 5th of September is a Sunday. The Spirit of God has been imploring me to give thanks to that altar where I received the Holy Spirit and where I am back to serve as an archdeacon. And I shall be doing that. I shall be giving thanks to God on the 5th of September to the same altar, thanking God for calling me to come and serve. And so, I threw Teresia Waiduke, who also invited me. I want to invite you, through her, that you come and join me on that very morning, 10 o'clock service, the Kikuyu service, that you come and join me in the giving of thanks. You may not, you, you will not make it, all of you, of course, but you can pass through Teresia uh, Waiduke and through uh, our Prof. Reverend and you can send gifts just to join me to tell God thank you for calling Archdeacon Lois. I mean when I was an infant and I'm serving the same altar as an Archdeacon. I thank God so much. Please join me. Pray about that. Pray for that day and uh, I know that with God's help you also shall support me and extend a hand of saying thank you God for calling Archdeacon Lois. Today is Mother's Union Sunday. We started on Monday. I was in church with our Mother's Union, the Begua. In fact, when I told them that I'll not be with them today, some of them were like, where are you going? And I'm telling Prof. Reverend, he'll come and pay. Before I leave today, we open our diaries. Give me a Sunday. You are coming to the Begua. Uje ulipe. Ne koleha. So my mothers could not understand where I'm going on a Mother's Union day, but I explained to them that uh, St. Paul's mothers invited me quite a, a while back, and so they released me with greetings and, you know, with a good heart. So receive their love and their greetings. Amen. Amen. So today we have the readings that we have been given. I don't want to take a lot of time. The readings that I'm using today, I'm using a reading that we did on Monday. This week has, has had uh, readings for each day, from Monday all the way through until today, there have been different readings. And so the reading I'm using today is the Old Testament reading that we did on Monday as we were flagging off the ladies going to the activities of the week. And the reading that we read was Isaiah 12, if you remember, it was Isaiah 12. That whole chapter is a very short chapter. It has only six, six verses from verse 1 to 6. That is where we shall read. And I shall do it in... Uh, uh, English and Kikuyu for the sake of those mothers who are here and maybe they would need me to, to, to read it in Kikuyu. It's a short reading. Let me do it. In Kikuyu, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1 to 6. In Kikuyu, she goes, she read out the lady. Nalere, Mudanyo Siole, when the Kugoko got the day, Negogo Shokaria gather where Jehovah, Nodo on Harea or a Kaletio Nene, Lu Maracara, the Magar Roketo, Kaha Oleria. Atelele Murungu, niwe hono kio wakoa, na niwedele hokaga, na dishoka kwe tigira. Niko koroja hu Jehova, niwe hinya wakoa, na niwe dele inagira, niwe otuye kete uihono kerole yakoa. Todosio, muka hata haka maaithi mashi ya uihono kanyo mukenete, ni inge. Mutanyoshio muko higa atirigaga i Jehova, hoyaga i muke kwe takare tuwale yake, ubolira hii aduma odumale ya yekaga, muke mera gare atere tuwale yake, mele togere te muno. Inira i Jehova, Nyo dunia kete mao dumegu mwone ne Nana 
mutume na mutume horo ucio menyo theo the atirere we utoraga zayuni anerera na mugabo munene ogothuke muno nigukorwa uri amutheru wa Israeli o ucio uri theine wanyu ni munene muno and in english it says this in that day you will say i will praise you o lord although you were angry with me your anger was turned away and you have comforted me surely god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid the lord the lord is my strength and my song hallelujah he has become my salvation with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation in that day you will say give thanks the lord call on his name make known among the nations what he has done and proclaim that his name is exalted sing to the lord for he has done glorious things let this be known to all the world shout aloud sing for joy people of zion people of st paul's for great is the holy one of israel among you amen, amen. i want to tell you plainly that i have admired this church and the church is you i have admired the way you are doing things i have admired the worship i have admired the praises i have admired the joy that you have i can tell the fellowship here is strong i can feel the warmth already i can tell how connected you are i can tell how united you are i can tell i could feel it i could feel it your fellowship is very warm i also have enjoyed and liked the way you give freely generously without any coercion just giving freely to the altar blessing the work of god i have been blessed by you i have enjoyed every bit of it and i have just felt i am in the midst of god's people god's children i have enjoyed it and i will take what i've learned here what i have seen here to where i am serving and telling them that even though many are still fearing to come to church because of covid-19 i found a church where people are packed and there's no fear maybe it's because you're doing it outside and the environment that that atmosphere is quite free and and the air so maybe that is one of the reasons and uh, this is quite a big plus so i'm so grateful and i'm happy to get it uh, i've seen and i've loved every bit of this service from the worship team from the worshipers from the and the choir though few men two or three of you but your tenor and your bass i could feel i could i could feel it because for me i am musical to the bone so i could feel it good music good singing the mothers lovely Ma our mother you know i mean you are a warm church i have loved you i have loved you i have loved you no hari thank you kawo tuka mutugateri wai we leave that to god who changes times and seasons amen 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 so we have said today is mothers union day and i want to say mothers are laborers i'm thinking of the first mother whom god created the wife to adam and she had to give birth to a child to do atumia ni oma heto wera munene muno ni ngai ngai obagire rurire thini wa na niguo wini ya hoya lirida na niguo kure nyina wa rurire atumia maheto wera munene muno ni ngai munene nigetha ngai obira rurire thini wa na marehage rurire guku thi ati gutire mundu wi haha utakuirwo ni mutumia na kiroho guku thi ni mutumia yesterday i had a sad day because a lady i know was expecting her baby there was even a baby shower and so forth and there was a lot of joy a week away a week ago and this this lady yesterday was a day to deliver the child and she went to the labor ward labored and while she was when she was giving birth complications in igeaga na bleeding and all that tonkula hachi anagoko the way that is why it is called labor ward it is work it is work how are you matige kinya how ma koro metigerete muno na no ega na ngai nyamu kire ga mutiga tonyage ho but this woman when she was laboring to bring this child you know to the world and the and the bleeding and so forth the baby was born but the mother died 
the mother died, the baby boy is safe and healthy. He will never see his mother. He will never know his mother. The mother died at birth. Ogo ni go kure oli tumune ne muno. Si amashio na go ole atu kuna si ane yoka go kodi. Mani na ne be ra mune ne muno gaya maheire. To labor and bring forth adogo kodi. I think of uh, Eve. They were, they were, she was with her husband Adam. They were like, "You are sharing with your no mutu mi osio." She was all by herself, and maybe even Adam was scared, like any other man. Go go the ate alim, and God, by His grace, delivered this woman, and she labored and brought forth this child, who was Cain. Cain, the murderer. Atu mi ala shiwe kuaga. Ati aisi na rogi. Motri ato kama kuwa gone da isi yo. To kere ho idui. Na to kere kueto ni atu mi ya. Na to na professor, na ma engineer, na ma na eh na na ati di koni yo na eh. Kwa mo to aisi na rogi. Na muti koi gaki yo kuwa. Ati da atu mi ya kuwa busi na morogi. Tika gai kuwa gwa kuwa. But here was this mother, the first mother. And uh, the nine months she was nursing this child in her womb, she didn't know that she was delivering and pay, going through pain and laboring to bring for the rebel. You know, Cain, the murderer, who, who murdered his brother. He did, she did not know, even when she was nursing this child. Nani kio atumia ni moyo guo, atiare kia kuwa hada, abagi ya kuhoya kana kau, kuma kale, dayake, ginaiga kinyago ukade, no, Nigeza kareo da karadi mo na gadi na abe na utuka kamodo kega nigeza na utuka jaba yangai atumi ya meteto na muto muri to muno 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 nekio maleo akui amuri go a families na matihota akulekia todo gai nia maheire muri go muri to muno God has a, a special business with women ohoroshiwa go kuira gai rolele nigeza mashoke ma yuli rolele go kodi ohoroshiwa ni ohoro wa goro muno. Nani kio ihoyaling to kuhoyaga niliagoro uguo. Kwa kwa tumia, mothers, God regards you as very special beings. Nani uduwa ge tumikeu, na iduwa tumia, ni uduwa kumenyo, kututigege kila idhero, uhoro ino wakwe dangai, no uhoro wakwe hea na kwega yusio, no uhoro wama hoya marea mwehe taga, lea mwokuwa muro, Atenedele ukaka maho ya maria, meri mari ikani ilo. Kani maa online, mashi maa 6.30 on Saturday. Atenedele kura kwa maho ya ini, maho ya masio, maho ya wone ya tumia maki hoa ya rolele. Even when for Jeremiah, and you have just read a reading from Jeremiah, when things were going badly as they are going today, Jeremiah would not call for, to the man, and na kuria rumemweha, ora gia tereri, meha tumia, Alia mali ragira gai na kegi. Todu ruwa ruwa mutumi ale. Runyi itaga muko. Nyoru kanyi itamahe. Deru gadi kwen gai na ajira aditu muno. Toni atura guo. Ne the labor, the pain. Because the woman is the laborer. To bring forth humankind to the world. Kuo guo mutumi ale liye kuhoe ale. Na liye kutera kuhoe ale ni ahete tiye muno. Mutumi ya ogo tera kuthie marwine. Mutumi ya ogo tera kuthie kore gai. Nia hete tia muno, nia hete tia muno, nia heto muli goshi yone ngai. Nigeza hoya gira, chiana shiake. Ninja hoya gira mudhuli, tona wadhuli maheto kiwela kerito muno. Gia kugada makirehaga, makahora mahiga magioka makirehaga. Na ake mutumia na ake ni manager, na li utoruta gaidu othe. Na gaino muwe gato tine ni hagi ya nudu wawash noto enyi hagi ya muno to submission ni ya mutumia. And so women have been given a big responsibility by God. Kwa watumia. That God has given you such a big role and a big responsibility. And I know the labor word to labor for the devil. Correct? Correct? There is not any woman here who entered that room of labor and labored and labored to labor for the devil. 
And that is why we stand and rebuke and say no to the devil because he's a liar and a thief. Yes, we refuse. On a real yarrow, Kanaka Yana Kaito, Kanaka Yere Traito, Kanaka Yashiana Shito. We stand on the promises of God and we say no to the devil because he's a liar and a thief. Because not any woman went to the labor ward to labor for the devil. Not anyone. No, 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 not one. No. Utiri mutumia udia kuromu arumu ashare goma muana. Utiri ono mwe. Na kugo na atro la mewo kumahana. Ole marihana. When I meet them, jiraga muad. And the devil is a liar. He has stolen that man. He has stolen that girl. But I know. I go praying on the road. God will cause those men and those, those women to come back to God. Where they belong. Because I know the devil is a liar and a thief. So we are called to pray. And we are called to call them back to the fold. Mutumia is the backbone of the family. Whether you are a single mother, whether you are a widow, whether you have your spouse, you are the backbone of the family. Now, Mutumia Gregelia, where I had to name Guy, what could be a family? Alagalia had any two. Family Abagia with Kusambratica. Family Abagia Kogua. But when the, when the woman stands firm, because the Bible says in Genesis, I'll give you one who is uh, similar to you, though different. That is God telling Adam. She'll be a female. And so the woman, when he, she, she came into the life of the man, and so the woman is the backbone of the family. And Uwezo na kibali kwamba aweze kumlelea nigeza hote kum, kumulelea na kumulelea ona ginya mudu murumi wa shio na nikiona ka mudu murumi ah getimo ni mutumia wake kaige weo ni madhia ka tulu gado magadhi ilu gado no wana ka mutaithia anga uka agina uka bere ono rata idagio aige ni madhia aga maka, maka tolia na lige makare mwona maka igwa di hota aga sharia mutaithia oro uge tonia rira kire muno Namutumia is so gifted with a lot of power and strength. Na kehinya ki mutumia no ahudira wega, na no ahudira oru, agi hudira wega, maudu magira ga makagira muno. Agi hudira oru, maudu madoka ga magadoka muno. Kaito hudira inya wito wega. We are blessed, we are blessed, we are blessed. And you know, when I read the word of God, I will be the father to the fatherless. But it does not say I'll be the mother to the motherless. Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about it? He does not say that. A mother, God knows a mother. When a mother has been left to the family, Lydia, when God says I'm the father to the fatherless, I'm the father to the fatherless. That woman will make it. God knows that. That that woman will make it. He, she will make it. And you have the testimony. That Mutumia 
gayo kaga hori wage aga tonya dhini muno otorea akorogo na business na ena mutumia aga tonya ho dhini nigeza nyitire ya mutumia ho shio shiena shia tigino itale dhomu iga dhoma ikale kia universities ikale ya nakaria ikale ikani ya mutumia alia mwoyo aige tone nga ino duwa rore roro that is the kind of favor God has given the woman we don't know why but we don't we cannot question God ugo nugo tuwa naga gai yage ika he kiedo special gai ya luta gawira na kio dhini wa atumia Na kuogo kiedu kuinuwe kwa na kumenye nero umuno. Ladies, mothers, whether single mother, whether you're a widow, whether you have your spouse, you are the backbone of your family. Stand firm. Na dukai kuhu vya position yoga ya kuhete. Na dukai dekutu yika mudu murume. Some are fighting to be men. Don't fight. Tika kwe dekutu yika mudu murume. Stand there. Your position is regarded in heaven. Oh no, you don't have any positions. You have all the positions. He you don't have any all the positions. Go kill him, Muduri Waku. Please, the man remains the man. Now know your authority, Yaku. Correct? Yes. Mutirate kiha wega, tondiro iga wega. But it is correct. I'm, I'm giving an, an example. For example, me and Felix, my husband. Me and my, I'm an achikom. My husband. Is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a priest who is, who is a vicar or a, a clergy who has not even gone to the level of, a, of an area dean. So in the Anglican church, who is higher? Who is higher? Yes, yes that's Deacon Lois. So if we are in the procession, who will be ahead? In the procession, who will be ahead? He will be ahead. And I'll be behind, me, behind him, okay? Now when we get home, who will be ahead? <laughs> The roles change. That is the church. But when we are home, he is the authority. Submission. He is. On a, I say this. On a corona, we can not get to a Mahida and Madiru. We get to a bishop. No example, Dramuhe. If I became a bishop, no, you can't get to a bishop. No, you can't get to a bishop. You can't get to a Yeah, you can't get to a Mahida and Madiru. Are you imagining me in my purple shirt? No, you can imagine to imagine. In my purple shirt, and I have a driver. This is not the bishop. Now, bishop, you have me here. No, no, pio. Ogana, it's the corner. Ah, na, you just no care. Gaya, bishop. Now, in the evening, the dad drop promotion. The driver. Now, purple shirt. I go. Now, driver. Out of me, go. I go. No, no, no. Go, go, go. <laughs> when we are home Eto hatu kaka ita itu mau doi ne, ma eh hari mai itu, mai itu itu mau doi ne, ma angai karibu. Agar doe get kini aku orang kora ne du teteh je kira gua ya amada. Doe ni dikona ni apa doe me bibi. Nega dah meja kane gua kene, kati gua kene. Meja kana ni kunjaga gua shai kati kunjaga gua shai. Wira aku dah kini aku kora de sasi apa pun down gua si amada ne diko ne koruga nado. Nega dah doe kene era. That is the woman. And even if we rose the, the ladder and we rose the ranks, the woman, I had to position. That position is sufficient. We are the backbone of the family. We are the helpers of our husbands and their supporters. Idui. That is what God has made us to be. And so we are living in times that are too difficult and very hard. In Togo, everywhere, we are living in very, very hard times. And the Mother's Union have, have a motto. The motto of the Mother's Union is Philippians 4, verse 13. What does it say? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me or through Christ who gives me strength. Question. This motto, will it survive the fires that we are going through today? This motto, 
moto na yatu miyali nego etiria ehidalele litu hete muno 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 na mwaki waka na muno 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 wa maudo ona mama ko ima thini wa wega wa ngai magathi kuri maudo mama ko hoyagero ma cultural things na kuma do ni wa ngai this th motto ya mother's union nego etiria miyaki ele atwena today shall it survive or mothers will you be consumed Will you be consumed or will you stand? I pray that God will help you to stand and that this motto, regardless of how the fires will burn, that this motto of the Mother's Union, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You will stand firm as a mother, as a widow, as a single mother, as a wife to that spouse. You will stand firm. We so so, now grand so so. You will grant great grant. You will stand firm, regardless of how things are going today. Mothers, let us set the pace. During this time when things are so difficult, there's a lot of hopelessness in the world. There, is a, there are a lot of issues that are hovering around us that are scary. But the mothers who are standing firm, they will be able to Namahoya Malaga Yato Heide. No Tarani Uraga Yato Heide. Motumia Abagio Tarani Wake. Kana Kario Dayake Ara Taraga. No Lewate Yokum and the Kai Kani Kaye to Tiai no go to go scanning. Kulhead Gotanoka scanning. Motumia Gagawiti on Yaka Yetu. Nakario Dayake. Kanawiti on Yakahe. Nakamena. Kanamuda Kiroa Kanaka Kaunikahe. Ugokai Kia de Kaisio. Kaunikahe, Akamenya. Na no ageta gere to akareo dayake. Tani de taga David we to dame nyote na gira Felix. We are we are expecting a boy. Damu tagare to agamwira David. Neo ginya gire muno komali. Na gamu goza goza. And he would just ukagwa ni wash niya koja. Niya koma na niya koma. Na gikoma mo no damu kira gia David. Wake up and play. Ukira dayake. You komi le muno. No kagwani adaka, that is a woman. A heto communication. A communicate a narulire, rutai roka go kode, na kayo a tongue. The Bible says an instructed tongue. Rulimiri no tarani. Kana nimutumia mokoro kan mother in law. Kana sister in law. Kuhu hikete. Na we mother in law. Ashimara heto niana kiaku. You have been given an instructed tongue. Ati rulimi wa utarani. Ganya heta mutumia. That is the woman. And so, the thing, how things are going, not to to a guy, he did it. She only instruction. And the instruction is this word of God. Because we are not getting it is the word of God. Amen? Amen? We are called to do that. We are going through a difficult time. Even we clergy. If you to get it, to get it, to get it. And we need a lot of support from you, church. And I know you have been standing with your reverend, prof. And pain like this time. And I thank you, ladies. I thank you, men. 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 I Mothers, I want to say thank you to you because it's your day. If it were karma day, I would appreciate them. But I know, mothers, you have taken time to work with Motugateri. These are very difficult times. Gutire hida de da corona hida irito talere na nikio de rekiri na isa twelve to doiga maudu magoro muno atezi moshito shio na mese jira ni geiroka ni ate pray for my mother ni admito na covid pray for my father ni I see you pray for my child ni adi skabona pray for my yesterday pray for this family we have lost so and so she has died delivering a child and the news that we are receiving today most of them are killing. They are so draining. And so we require to have a church like you, mothers like you, who will stand with us as clergy. Look at our bishop. Our bishop from Monday through Monday. I even wonder, God is so gracious to him that he gives him extra energy beyond what we can comprehend. At the bishop, we talk about around the run. And if you look at the week, what he's doing, Madiko Mode, Madiko Roshio, Madiko Oke, the rest of his time is barriers. These are very difficult times, sad times, dark times, dark times, times of sorrow and grief. 
that will need a church that is full of the Holy Ghost. A church that is not complicated. Don't complicate yourself. And I'm so happy the way I've seen here. The whole way go call it. The way things are flowing, you are doing a Christian or easy to work with. I'm so happy. We already know you are you. You are you are easy Christians to work with. I'm imagining what you got there. If this congregation was complicated, just complicating themselves. You know those politics of the church. At me, I'm in a politics is yao. Ita mi nyaka si uhani te kuhana. Men na me na politics is yao. Na mo lito ma matara mi nyaka me kumanira na kuve youth. The young mothers, everybody here, mutu gati rio yole. You can imagine the pressure. Ona daka mi yaki haisha. Kana mutu gati riti modo. Ne modo tu rage kuwa. Na kivu modo tu tina memory service ya mutu gati riki yogo. Yes, our Reverend who, who, who passed on, and the day he passed on, the previous day we, we had come from the barrio for late husband, the karma coordinator, the, the former one. So clergy are human beings. Na kogo this time, olea mula nyitira mutu gati riwa ni mothers. Kumu, kumu hoera, ona kumu hoerelia, ona kumu hege keno. It will allow him to serve him more years, and a hell vijega na tali muru wani. I want to thank God for you because that's what I've seen. Very easy church to work with. Can you keep it up? Yes. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up in your departments. Na alia litu tonoku, alia litu wako udheine. Mutiki agera inyo wave. Kuleo mekuwa alitu wakili wakuma kururi yale. Me netake kama. No tia ige, dona maria nini? Dona maria nini? Tia ige, no netake kama. Ete kira kuhodha, tukaka hodha tuviru gendo. Hoda to the Rogendo. Wa Kelly to her, Namahid and Marito Hire. Hoda to the Rogendo. I have just enjoyed working here with you. So, thank you for taking care of your Mchungaji mothers because this is what you're called to do. How about the church ministries? The commitment of many Christians. This is an amazing congregation. Oh, what did I go? There are many churches. Christians have not come back. The commitment I've seen here. The commitment of the mothers, the commitment of all of you is amazing. But in most churches, it has dwindled a great deal. But I've seen a difference here. Keep it up. Your commitment to the church, your commitment to your giving, your commitment to prayer, your commitment to fellowship. I've seen that. Keep it up because that's what I've seen. Even your giving is exemplary good. Giving your resources, I've seen it. Most churches, the numbers have declined. But that's what I've seen here. Tibu wadona woko. Ono kwa kwenye excuses ya nini. Kwa kwenye ya nini muno. Kwa kwenye St. Paul's. I don't think. There are so many excuses. Digoka. Weo. Mutogoli ya ne kubaga. Hii ni odo wahe. Honu kiyo matano. Ka ale angandi ya hii. But even when it is cold. Ne mwame nyeko goho era hema ine. Ne mwame nyeri ya hewe no kule kagoti ule. Moka mwe hubete wega. So there are no excuses. And I thank God for that. Others. Others have become a burden to others. Don't be a muligo to others. I'm not a muligo to others. I'm not a muligo to commitment I'm not a muligo to others. I'm not a want to others. in the mother's department. to others. I'm not a muligo 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 to others. I'm not a so we all are important. Whether you have lots, whether you have little, we all matter before God. And so every woman, you are an important person. Don't be a burden to anyone. We say, be a blessing to everyone. Don't be a burden, be a blessing to everyone. We are a blessing and not a burden. And finally, as I close, in the midst of all, that is going on. What is God saying? Let us now look briefly at Isaiah 12. I'm closing now. Uh, this is the reading, as I said, that we read on Monday on the Talent Week's activities as we are flogging the women off. What does it say? Number one, it talks about restored joy, restoration. And if you look at the preceding chapter, which is chapter 11, it is talking of how the Israelites enemies all over. And this is a messianic prophecy. 
chapter 11 and chapter 12 of Isaiah is a messianic prophecy pointing to Jesus. When he comes, what shall he do amongst God's people? And you are seeing that the and a prediction was done that when the branch from Jesse, which is Jesus Christ, when he comes, what will happen? And this is what is recorded in Isaiah chapter 12. Look at that. What does it say? It says, In that day you will say, I will praise you, O Lord, although you are angry with me. You will not be angry with me forever. And that is our prayer and our conviction this morning. He will change because he's the God who changes times and seasons. Amen. Amen. Your anger has turned away. Hallelujah. This is a God who the Bible says that his anger will turn away from us. Even from a family, even from an individual. You may have wallowed in sin like a pig. You know, on a Torea Goro, give me that beer. No me o hebo tai. Tono ame kumuda ya gamu. No gongo madi na to kumuda ga. Aga to kumuda, aga to kumuda, aga to kumuda. But if we are not changed from inside, we still are sinners. So God wrestles with us a lot. So like a pig that has been washed and, and brushed and cleaned and uh, with a bow tie. E kithi e kore ke motodo. The pig will wallow in. So that is its nature. Ni ya kora kura kwe kwae. Dirami nya ina bow tie. Dirami nya ni kubrush it will clean. And that's why God always keeps following with us and also cleansing us. Because we mess a lot with ourselves. O naru gai nya ato alivya. Do you know even in this pandemic God is purifying us? God is purifying us. God is causing us to come to Him. And to come to Him, you know the prayers I had here. Mahoya Maria Daigo Mo the St. Paul's. Mahoya Masya Mutia Hoya Gogo Tene. Give Mo away. Mukia no, since Gura Dato, Dato, Raga Inui. How Kavere, Dari Hora, how Kavere, you know? Mother, time, what? You, you did a long prayer. In other words, I think you concentrated there. That was Kiambos and Paul's. Many years. I'm saying that's who you were. On a dimotu got it and on a joy. In you and I do it, Korea to Gatara Ricaremoe. Mother Bani Omoe. So I know what I'm saying. But do you know God can allow a pandemic like this? Negada ato we can ato ara hole tarika higa koi mama tuine ato hoda nako izuwa the tora kulea koi ma koi ma nako. All of us are looking up, and I'm telling you that is what I've seen this morning. Negwa dona na daigua. Mahoya, thank you. Mahoya mare mahoya. Ha ha. Hatta ne hoda edoka. Na mokire teki na uti mudwa shoga na rogeyo shoga jate no kwe na hayo na ushoga te. All the way in the spirit, and we are all looking to heaven where our answers are coming from because Isaiah 12 is talking about it. You shall give me thanks and call upon my name. That's what God is saying. And so, even now, God is purifying us. 
No kule mego di mwadha ni ya rogo osho. Na ale mego di mwadha ni mwadha ni mwadha ni ya rogo osho. Na tuikela tugeidera kia tu dhina mwadha ni mwadha ni togo vye. But God is the, in the business of purifying us. Da geteke liya kengoki tageke such kind of a calamity. To befall us. Na koro haikale toge tiri ya kio nenina usmala last mile. Oro ogo tuwe dhirai. God is a personal God. Guy with is a just God. Na kwa wale ya kula dhinabere God knows so very well. And so Isaiah 12, Aramura Amedure Takiyama in the Kiyamada's Union, Namadhamma Namadhamura Adure Tamaki Miyageke, this was very, very relevant. It is saying again, your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Kwa wale ya kula dhinabere, ona toge karara gole, nwa le tuhora geria, niya go tuhora geria, da ge totema na ge go tuhora geria, no ya kuhora geria mesia tu miya adigwa, Nia kuhole ya mishia aduli ya digoa. Kule shia na iti geto ni ya shia li ere. Children who are double orphaned. God knows they are hurting. They are bleeding. And the word of God is saying I'm coming to comfort you. Na kuwa gorona ashi yore. Gai niya kuma comfort. Niya kuma hore liya. He knows they are going through pain. He knows. Ashia ya muti geto ni shia na shia liyo. Gai niya oe. He is saying I'm coming to comfort you. We talked of many issues here. God knows each one of them. And finally he says, Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Jeremiah. Ego tuwa ramiri yake ya wete kio. Na wana hede ya liwata lere. Na bala taishi. Noe korura na haya na gewe ila. Toruga ya leo muoyo. The word of God is saying that I will give you joy as you continue trusting in me. And you know what? The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. Hallelujah. He is my strength. Kio nikio, eo niyo moto ya tumia. That I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. The same chapter is saying that the Lord is my strength. No, he now aqua. Atumia no qua digoa. Walk in a roll shin at Tulia Maru. Why got a hot at Tomo Keraga? You are my strength and my song. No, he now aqua no rebel aqua. Romana and you more than it. Atumia no go who your spouses. And you know the challenges your spouses are going through and your families and your children. Get back on your knees. Tell God, you are my strength and my song. Nwa hinya wa kwa na rebolo wa kwa mwadhani ni wogela hinya di kaigo tivi hori ni wa mahoya na kiwa. Single mothers who are here, you have a responsibility to look after that family single handedly. Ela mwadhani you are my strength and my song and you will not abscond your responsibility as a single mother. Ni wakole la gairole ni. Men who are here, you have a big role. Oh man, man, man. Man, man, oh man, arume, arume wera wa ne molito, 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 molito muno. Todo le u le kilo gado kio gado tu la gwe tali ni oma kuete. Na kuo gwe without God, man, you will not make it. You will not make it. You need to come so close to God. Nigeenda gai ya kuhe hinya Uhate kura mutumi wa usio na shia Naishio na mauduma haku Na nwe mudu murume They know of Genesis Nidi ya dhi ya rumiruo Kirumiki ya mudu murume Nikiri tumu na nongo wa mutumi ya ahiroge ya kurumago Na nwe gato gai do yenima lekuwa o yenima lekuwa o yenima lekuwa o yenima lekuwa o No mudu murume ya liwa terere Gwe kira meigu wa goko odhe Ego dhe esha gage Na kutile kiedu kiego okona. Otaitete digi no nyige. Olele sanga guo. Na jekele odo. So men. Maikaga matale. Men. No I mean men. Have a lot of enemies. Mwudu 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 mw Ang isa diya ko goro. Alam niya lagi mamukora. Nekumutay diya ko sa diya. 
Niago na go get us get a cigar no longer. Abia Horio Avoro at Tiwa were to ho Canona, I kill Galileo or Colleric to all. But look at a woman. Although the society today in Adi Shaja, you mutu me a to Reke Rokogonega, Agor Akuka, go to Reke. How many men would allow a woman? And said the Yakoguru. My mother, I will ah, my toy too. My toy too. Koro Gakatia. Oh, I said the Yanarua. Oh, very, very quickly. No, I never get a Raku. That's that's the way it is. Modumurume, other saga go. Megua, Adi, where I name Megua. I can remind you, see, I can Megua. All over, and that's why I tell young couples when I'm counseling with them, I tell them the ladies, Akoro na doni ingi mono. Gera ga muri tu shia tereere. Dukane te kila moto moro meo. Ada shage to na kuhune meigua. Ni gio kamu shia kule meigua. E moto mi ya meigua. E nuno na moto mi ya meigua. Ola kemi ya dero ga meigua. Na digo ne dati gira hau. Todo e ke di gira hau. Moto mi ya meigua. Di di mera ga. Dosia mudo mume ne njiki mono mudo mume edo njiki mono mono na yeye mnyati kaka bia kwenye mwe. If you look around here, alo mera the meha ogero ali. Where you just turn? What where alo mera the meha? Oje la kani kuna mudo mume muda ka. Omwe tu muda ka. Tuani ya mudo mume omwe tu muda ka. Mudo mume muda ka. Alo mera tida karaga. Tamaro lewe. No show ke aria me ha me na tumi olaya tumi ya. Those angels. Tamaro lewe. Ni la lora. Ni lona ya ni lo iga. Mu du mu me da ni mu ke wa u da kara. To Dubai ya kora guona siyo. Na kuhura guone di. Na kuda sa guakiri of protection, security, provision, priesting the family. All that is war. New doors you move to more me akora dena mugi mono ginya go koro the war of the family. That you na mahida mau da kara akigitira. Tamarole. Those are the men. Kuku we na move to more me muri tumo. So the mothers who are here and you have your husband ganya mugi temuoyo. Love that man. Feed that man. Take care of that man. Na ramu kula kwa yosia vile na tigo koko tigo kula kwa yosia vile ni mule ya kila adi koko tigo mtu mpyo kula yosia vile ah dirona dirona ora ugo dirona you will prepare you will organize because you want to take care of that man na yeye kwa kile miaka miingi man we love you man we are confirming today and affirming that we love you. I'm praying also for my husband. So many men. So many men. Don't count. Stop counting. You surrender. You surrender and submit. So many men have gone, and so we want to pray. We take care of them. And so, mothers, may God bless you as you continue being the backbone of the homes, the backbone of the families. Gai bi tuamu hii njia wa kurama udumashio, mtumia, au raga gani njia mu yasi wa kika mu itali tuwa, na dogo gwe njia mu ireta mu duli, gani njia mu yoke la rusi ni gwe tamu tumia, ma, au na ngobe ita kwa mu tumia, na kika mu ita mo.
Newe nina wa mothe, newe. Na nikyo na mutumia gethi orimo, life goes down. Life nuko dhira, dhira. That's a woman. Kogo women, take care of yourselves. Stand firm in the Lord. Mutika, mutika, kutha akira position, ila gaya muhete. Ruga mai weather, na mute gainayo. Na this theme, ila mothe ni atuhete. The motto that we have, that I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me, let us do it in humility that cometh from heaven. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.